extra for the insurance that you know whatever happened to you if you cannot pay your monthly mortgage you have an insurance there to cover your mortgage loan What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today, I'm going to show you, I'm going to talk about four different kinds of loans where you can get when applying for a mortgage, all right? There are different kinds of loans when you're buying a property, not just here in Florida, but for the whole United States, all right? So if you are a kind of person who doesn't know which loan you're going to get, make sure you watch this video from this start until the end so you will have some idea which one or which loan is best for you, all right? But before before start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't done so and also smash that like button for me if you found this helpful and useful and most important thing share this video in all your social media and I would highly appreciate that one last thing I just want to clarify that I am not a financial advisor I am not a lender and also a accountant or a lawyer I'm a realtor here in Central Florida this video is particular for educational and entertainment purposes only are we good in that one so let's jump into it so first thing that i would like to say the first loan that you can avail if you are planning to buy a property is the conventional loan okay what is the conventional loan rj there are so many loans out there and i don't know i don't understand which one is i'm gonna get or which best fit for me okay so number one is conventional loan conventional loan is good if your credit score is about 680 and above all right that's the number one thing that you need to think about it and also the next thing here is if you you have like at least 10% down payment for the loan that you're gonna get so which is like a higher deposit what you will get is a lower payment okay that is a good thing because the higher you give the lower that you will pay for your monthly remember that one so the good thing here as well is if you are planning to get a conventional loan is number one is you don't have to pay the PMI okay what's the PMI PMI is let me just check private mortgage insurance all right so you don't have to pay that pmi due to higher down payment that you give so it means like for the bank or for the lender they are less risk because you are giving you know 20 percent down payment or 10 percent at least minimum down payment so you don't have to pay that private mortgage insurance so that you know that's a be a less in your monthly mortgage bill all right doesn't make sense i hope it does that's a good thing in conventional loan there are two types of conventional loans remember this one okay they are called the adjustable rate mortgage or the arm and also the other one is the fixed rate mortgage okay I will explain that to you each one of them so you will understand which one is best for you or which one is fit for your budget okay so adjustable rate mortgage or the arm this is adjustable is when they say adjustable so you can adjust your mortgage during your time period of loan by the way I forgot to say the loan for conventional loan typically they have like 15 years term for the loan and also 30 years term for the loan either or you know whatever you get in there you could have to do the adjustable rate mortgage which is the one I talk about or the other one is the fixed rate mortgage okay but let me just stick to adjustable rate mortgage or the arm when you're talking about adjustable mortgage or adjustable rate mortgage or the arm if you're not planning to keep the property long term let's say you just want to buy a property for investment and also you want us resell this property maybe after five years or ten years and then maybe the adjustable rate mortgage will be best for you what do you mean by that because like let's say adjustable rate mortgage you can adjust your mortgage typically within two years or three years it depends on your contract with the lender okay so it means like let's say the property that you just bought is you know three hundred thousand and then you have like at least five percent interest rate and then you are planning to resell this property within 10 years you know your interest rate could be like let's say for the first year will be five percent and then next year could be go down to four percent or could go higher to six percent whichever the interest rate in the current situation okay so you can adjust your interest rate regarding on that particular contract okay i hope that makes sense so let's say you choose the fixed rate mortgage which i talk about that one fixed rate mortgage it means like you are fixed to your mortgage 
mortgage you are fixed whatever the rate you just choose let's say you just pick the fixed rate mortgage and then you have like let's say five percent in your mortgage or five percent interest rate for your mortgage and that five percent you cannot adjust that one for 15 years mortgage or 30 years mortgage because you are in fixed rate mortgage does it make sense wow. so you are just fixed there whatever you say fix is that's gonna be your mortgage the good thing about here in fixed rate mortgage is you know how much your mortgage for 15 years mortgage or 30 years mortgage you can budget your monthly payment or your monthly bills so you know how much money that you need to get or you need to earn to pay your mortgage compared to adjustable rate mortgage if you know what I mean because like after two years three years maybe your rate will go up will go down it depends on the economy it depends on the Fed you know how much money that you need to spend and also you can budget easy or you can budget better compared to adjustable mortgage rate I hope that makes sense all right so this is for a long term okay so if you're planning to stay in your property for long term you know you don't planning to sell it and you be there you know forever I highly suggest the fixed rate mortgage for your loan okay if you want more information I'm not a lender as I said earlier I could help you you know meet a good lender here or a lender here in my area so that if you have more question about lending stuff or lending uh, topics you know you can ask that question okay so let's go to my loan number two or the second loan that you could choose which is the FHA okay what do you mean like FHA now RJ this is a bit confusing okay FHA is a federal housing administration loan this FHA loan which help increase homeowners in America by reducing down payment amount and credit score requirement so let's say you have a lower credit score around 600 or less than that one and then you don't have much down payment for your property which this loan will be perfect for you okay what do you mean by this okay let me just give you some little example or little explanation about this FHA loan so the benefit of this one as I said earlier lower down payment as low as 3.5 especially if you are a first-time home buyer this FHA loan is suit for you it's just because number one if you don't have great credit score this will be fit for you second is a low down payment payment instead of 10% from conventional loan here in FHA you only need like 3.5% which is really good right what is the disadvantage of FHA okay if FHA is not all about advantage we also have like disadvantage okay the disadvantage of S <laughs> FHA is you have to pay the MIP or the mortgage insurance premium because for the bank or for the lender you know you are just giving lesser down payment so the risk for them is like what if you don't have money to pay for your mortgage the bank or the lender have more risk to you compared to conventional loan so which is they create this the mortgage insurance premium which is you have to pay every month compared to conventional loan you don't have to pay anything extra for conventional loan compared here in FHA is just because for the lender they have more risk you know lending you money you know they are asking for a payment from you extra for the insurance that you know whatever happened to you if you cannot pay your monthly mortgage you have an insurance there to cover your mortgage loan does that make sense so that's why you will have to pay extra on your particular mortgage using the FHA are we happy for that one so if you have any question comment down below in the comment box and then I will try my best to answer it so let's go to my number three which is number three is the VA loan okay what is the VA loan now RJ VA loan is one of my favorite loan it's just because the VA loan is typically designed for active and former military members and their families okay so if you are let's say if you're a soldier if in Marines you know you could use this VA loan because you know you are serving the country and this VA loan is backed up of US Department of Veterans Affairs which is really good because number one is advantage of this is you don't have to pay no down payment imagine that you don't have to pay anything for down payment for VA loan it's just because you know you are serving the country and the country are giving you more incentive because of your service okay second is no private mortgage insurance or PMI remember the one I told you before for conventional loan you have to pay the PMI but this VA loan you don't have to pay on that one is just because you have more priority and you have served the country so the country will give you some benefits for serving it okay so let's go to my fourth and last one which is the USDA loan okay what is the USDA loan the USDA loan is named after the US Department of Agriculture 
farmer okay most U usda loans are not solely for farmers maybe you will think like the farmer can only have this is just because of a uh, rural area of united states so basically if you are planning to buy a property which is not in the city area or let's say in the rural area or development you know you are good to get this usda loan okay but make sure that you always ask the lender before picking up this one because they are only certain place that you could choose where is the usda loan is applicable in your area okay so the advantage of this usda loan is there's no down payment option available in this one wow. so that's the four types of loan or home loans that you can avail here in united states if you are planning to buy a property here so i hope this video is helpful and useful i know this video is too long and i know i'm talking too much if you have more question about this loan feel free to come back to me and then if i cannot answer your question regarding to lending as you know i'm not a lender i am a realtor i could refer you to one of my lenders who could help us you know from your answer regarding anything about lending okay or lender question if you watch this video until this end comment down below mortgage so i could see how many people who watch this video until this end i really appreciate your time watching my video from this start until this end once again thank you and i'll see you on my next video peace private mortgage Private, private mortgage insurance. <laughs>